Hey, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to another episode of Harvest Eating. I want to show you all how to make a spinach and artichoke dip. Let's get started. Here's our spinach. This spinach was previously squeezed out. Very important for that to be very dry. Just dump that right in. And then we've got artichoke hearts here. And these are whole artichoke hearts. And I got these from a can. Now, you certainly could go out and get fresh artichokes when they're in season, and you could prepare them, break them down, peel them, get all the choke out of there, do everything that you need to do. Um, but that is a lot of work, and, and beautiful fresh artichokes like that, to me, are gonna be best eaten um, just fresh like that where you, where you eat them. And I would not use fresh to make a, di a dish like this. So again, these are canned. Let's just put these right in. Then this is our cream cheese, and it's not any old cream cheese. It's organic cream cheese. It's also a cultured cream cheese, which means the cream was cultured with a bacteria. It makes it nice and tangy. And this one doesn't have all the additives and all the stuff that you find in other varieties. And definitely avoid the low-fat or fat-free varieties like the plague. Those are horrible. Take this, drop it right in. Then we have a little bit of um, full-fat mayonnaise. And that's just to help um, bind it together and get a little bit of texture. Then we have uh, grated hard Parmesan cheese from Wisconsin. And then we have some um, Asiago cheese. This is also from Wisconsin. And now I like to put a little bit of kosher salt in there. We're gonna test it later. All that cheese and mayonnaise has salt, so we're gonna go sort of light in the beginning. And then we're gonna take pepper and grind some fresh pepper in here. And as you can see, this is pretty darn simple. So now take your stand mixer, get the bowl on there, and then we're gonna close this down and start mixing. Okay, before we go any further, we want to make sure that this is tasting good now because you definitely don't want to put it in your baking dish and bake it if it's not properly seasoned. So take a break and grab a little clean spoon and then try it. It's good, but definitely, definitely needs more salt because it's, you can taste all the ingredients, but it's a little bit bland. So get a little more salt and then some black pepper. Okay, so now let's blend in that additional seasoning. And remember, this is your recipe. If you wanna play with it and maybe put garlic powder in there, feel free to do that. If you wanna use yogurt instead of mayonnaise, you can do anything like that. Remember, just make it taste good. Okay, so that is, come on now, that's well combined. We will use a little spatula, and we need to get all these ingredients back into the bowl. Now, let's take this off. Let me just clean up that mess. And remember, here's our dish. Again, nice and heavy duty. Let's fill this up. We want every last bit. Now, what you want to do here is just to pack it a little bit, but remember, do not press it down very hard because then in the oven, you might have pockets where it's not very um, warm because this is a very dense mixture. That's really all you need to do. Pop this into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 35 minutes and you'll be good to go. Here is the spinach and artichoke dip. I just removed it from the oven. A little thing that I did about three quarters of the way through is I put a little more of that Asiago melting cheese on top. It really looks awesome. How I like to finish it is just with some simple pita crisps like this. Just take some pita bread, a little olive oil, Italian seasoning, put it on a sheet tray in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes, and you are good to go. There is a homemade spinach and artichoke dip. Give this a try today. The Harvest Eating Lifestyle with Chef Keith Snow promotes the use of locally grown and raised products cooked using seasonal methods all throughout the harvest season. 
be sure to engage with us everywhere. On your TV via Roku, iPad or iPhone via the Harvest Eating app, on YouTube.com, on Facebook.com, and of course at HarvestEating.com. Thanks for watching.